Now, Isaiah Sharp with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Taking a quick look at the village at Meridian. Not too much to talk about here. Temperatures into the 70s going to be dropping into the 60s, but we've got a lot to get to when it comes to quite the activity moving into the gem state. We've got this high pressure ridge that has already made its way in, but the warmest temperatures are going to be expected heading into tomorrow. This low pressure system that's to the north of us is going to be moving inland and actually condensing some of the heat for the Treasure Valley region and the southern part of the gem state, bringing in some 90s and upper 80s expected for a majority of the area. On top of that, too, it's going to be increasing thunderstorm activity, mostly for the northern part of the gem state. So take McCall, everything to the north. That's where we're going to be seeing most of it. So let's see it in action. As you can see, the system rolling in, bringing in all of that rain. And there's kind of that line, the mid part of the state and all of that activity happening up there. We'll also watch another system roll in, not change too much because that high pressure ridge, you can kind of see it bouncing around, staying right over the top of places like Colorado and Utah, keeping the temperatures warm, even heading into the the start of next week. Temperatures expected to be into the 70s and 80s, but still warmer than per usual. Remember, it's the third day of fall. We should be seeing some of those fall temperatures, but they have yet to arrive here in Idaho. Those thunderstorms I did mention are going to be increasing for this region of Washington, Idaho and parts of Montana. Something else that I do want to highlight too is some other storm activity that's happening on the other side of the country. Hurricane Helene will officially become a hurricane and strengthen into a hurricane around Wednesday, and so do expect that activity to increase. Not going to be affecting us all the way over here in Idaho, but certainly something to keep an eye on because watch this storm as it continues to strengthen into the Gulf of Mexico, turning into a category two on Thursday as it makes inland at 6 p.m. winds up to 120 miles per hour, and it's going to become a category three once it hits land. You can see parts of Tampa, Jacksonville, a, a lot of Georgia is going to be seeing tons of rain coming through up to potentially a foot of rain is going to be falling with all of these winds on top of that too. You can see the category three right there just to the south as it makes its way inland. It's going to start to lose power as it makes its way across the eastern part of the United States, turning into less of a storm heading over uh, Atlanta but we're going to be paying attention heading into the afternoon time on Thursday as this category three Hurricane Helene is going to be bringing in plenty of wind and plenty of rain. Some of those coastal regions will be impacted most heavily. Let's bring it back to the gem state, though. Really nice temperatures and fairly warm temperatures for this time of year. You see 93 in Pendleton, 97 down in Medford, Oregon. Some of the warmest we're seeing this time of year. 88 in Boise, 82 down in Twin Falls, 77 in Ketchum, and those temperatures are going to be rising even more more heading into tomorrow. 91 in Boise and looking across the region, it's going to be 90s for a majority of the area. 91 in Weezer, 91 and 92 is expected a majority of the region with most clear skies on board because of that high pressure ridge kind of keeping things cleared out. 80s is expected in McCall and Cascade, 80s in Cambridge and Council, 94 up in Riggins and 90s everywhere else with mostly clear conditions continuing on in the western central mountains. For the eastern central mountains, just a smidge cooler, really nice conditions with clear skies. One of the warmest in Fairfield sitting at 85 70 is expected into Sun Valley and temperatures. They'll be the warmest heading into tomorrow. Clear skies like I mentioned across the board 92 expected to be the high temperatures will take a dip after that though 83 expected to be the high on Thursday, but we're sticking consistently into the 80s heading into this weekend. Unseasonably warm for this time of year will draw back into the 70s heading into Monday 80s will stay true heading into Tuesday. It's going to be a toasty one expected on your Wednesday.